Hi guys, we are currently at Joanne Fabrics and I wanted to show you guys this adorable pillow that I just found. Look at this. And right now their Christmas decor is on sale for 60% off. So I found this, this really pretty garland and then maybe that tree. I'm still thinking about that, but look how gorgeous this garland is. I am so in love with it. They have some really nice garlands here, don't they? Yeah, they do. Also, look how adorable these mugs are. This one says, this is my Baja mug. They have the plaid, let it snow. They have one with a deer on it. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, these are only $3.99. They have home for the holidays. This one is funny. It says, naughty is the new nice. Be merry. Oh, look at this one. It says, I'd melt for you with the snowman. I also like this one right here. It says, I'm only a morning person on Christmas. They have some really nice decor here, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh look, I just spotted a Madison. Right here. <laughs> I keep seeing the little red trucks with Madisons in them. Also, you guys, look at this tray right here. I love this tray. Also, the Christmas tree candles. I would never burn this. Obviously, most people probably wouldn't. I just use this for a decoration. I also love these wood signs right here. So they have one that says Noel and one that says Joy. And then they also have this really cool one right here that says Merry Christmas. They have a ton of Christmas signs here. Look at all of these. I am so excited to start decorating for Christmas, you guys. I know I said I was gonna decorate early and now I kind of feel like I'm behind because we decided last minute to start painting our living room so decided that we better start painting before we break out all of the Christmas decor oh look there's another Madison Joann's always has some of the nicest holiday decor you guys oh I also like this one right here it says reindeer school <laughs> my mom likes this one with the little <laughs> red truck and the Christmas tree on it we're pretty much obsessed with those aren't we this little snowman right here is adorable. Look at all of these holiday signs they have. They have some Santa Claus cookie jars. Oh, these remind me of the ones that we saw at Kirkland's. Oh, yeah. And these light up. Um, maybe. That one doesn't. All right, there it is, if you can see that. I'm pretty sure, didn't we see some that looked almost identical to these at Kirkland's? Yeah. Here are a bunch more Christmas pillows. I also loved this one right here with the deer head and the plaid. This one's kind of cool right here. It's a countdown to Christmas. It has a little snowman that you can move. They have a ton of really nice pillows here. And like I said right now, all of this stuff is 60% off. Look how adorable these are. And they light up. So this one has the little snowman and the igloo. And then they have one with the little red truck. They have all different ones. The snowman and the little red truck are of course my favorites. They also have a bunch of snow globes. I always love the ones that have the little snowmen in them. I actually really like this one too. These remind me of a pair of hunter boots. Oh look, our favorite holiday dish towels. Right. <laughs> My mom and I just always love the holiday dish towels, don't we? Yeah. I was actually just going through my dish towel drawer and cleaning out a bunch of different ones because I have so many dish towels. We just found some more Christmas mugs, you guys. So they have this one, little Christmas tree with a candy cane handle. And then they have a Santa Claus one and a reindeer. I kind of love the Christmas tree one because I love the candy cane handle on it. I just think that is adorable. They also have a little red truck and a Christmas tree salt and pepper shaker set as well as some snowman ones, a little Santa candy dish. I can't wait until I go back to sounding like normal. Also for all of you gnome lovers, they have some gnome mugs here, which I will admit these are pretty cute. And then they also have a gnome pillow. This one says gnome sweet gnome. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> that one's funny. And then they also have some gnome ornaments. I also just spotted another little red truck. What is this? This is a banner. Look at that. It says fa la la oh, with man. the red truck on it. They also have some of these really pretty sparkly snowflakes. Also look how nice these throws are right here. 
I think I love the red one the best. Which one do you like? Yeah, I like the red. You get a pillow with it. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So these are 60, they're on sale for 60% off and then you get the throw as well as a pillow. All right, what's next? Here are the rest of the holiday pillows that they have. They have so many pillows here, you guys. Look at all of these. This is my happy place right here, all of the holiday pillows. I always get so excited seeing all of the holiday ones. I really like this one with the snowflake on it. I just realized that they have buried down here Aww. my little Madison chicken. Her nickname is Chicken Nugget. That's why I always call her Madison Chicken in case any of you are wondering. She's our little Madison chicken. I love this pillow. And on the back it's plaid so you could actually use this in the fall as well. Oh yeah. That is so adorable. All right, I probably should step away from the pillows before I'm tempted to buy more because we all know I don't need any more pillows. Here are all of the garlands that they have, you guys. Look how many they have here. And I actually ended up getting mine from way up there on the top. I used a little pole that they had. My mom and I also both love that one up there with the pine cones on it. They seriously have so many nice ones here. We've seen so many different ones we wanted. They also have some really pretty Christmas or holiday wreaths down here. I like this one. Here's some more garlands. I think I bought one like this last year. Oh, here's that garland down low so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. My mom and I both really liked this one. We kind of like a lot of the more natural looking stuff. And I think I just spotted a Christmas unicorn, maybe. Look at these. Look how cute those are. Lots of sparkly stuff down here. Look how pretty these glitter snowflakes are. My mom is thinking she is going to get one of the really pretty silver ones. She kind of wishes they had more. This is the only one they have, and these are 10, and then they're 60% off, so it's a really good deal. I can look for another one when Bill and I go shopping. My mom also just found this little wreath here. She recently bought some of the, what do you call those, kubu? Yeah. Chairs from Pier 1 Imports, kind of like my bar stools that I used to have in my kitchen. I actually still have them. I just put them up right now and she is looking for some little wreaths to hang on the back, kind of like how I had my wreaths on mine at Christmas. I do think this one is really nice. Are you gonna get this one or you're still thinking? They only got one. They only have one? <laughs> Don't you guys hate when that happens when you need a few of something and they only have one and you like search the entire store just like hoping that you're gonna find another one and then you don't and you're like so sad. These are really pretty too. Did you see these? Or is this a garland? No, that's not <gasps> Oh my gosh. Look how pretty these wreaths are. Those are cute too. Yeah, they are. These are 10. So these would only be $3.99. I really like these. These definitely just have a nice natural look. And my mom just did. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of stuff over. I swear it's always her or me when we're at the store looking at stuff. We're always tipping something over, but what? oh my gosh. Cool. I'm going to get that for you and I'll fill that up with, with all of your stuff. <laughs> fill it up with gifts for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to tell you guys I thought of a cool idea for these. Instead of using it for a wreath, you could also use this to put a candle in the center of it. And how pretty would that look oh, sitting yeah. on your table or your coffee table with a candle in it? That would look so pretty with a Bath and Body Works candle in it. Now I'm kind of tempted to get one of these. All right guys, I think this is coming home with me and I'm going to use it for a candle holder. And guess what? My mom just found some more of the silver snowflakes. That one's crooked. There's a bunch more, well not a bunch more, but you guys can see down there. So I think I'm gonna grab this guy. All right, I think I'm getting a snowflake as well. You're a bad influence. My mom <laughs> talked me into getting one of these. She told me she was gonna hang hers on her door, so I think I might get one and hang it on my patio door. And these are only $3.99 and they're so pretty. You're such a bad influence. I am so excited about these snowflakes, you guys. Look how pretty. 
You guys just all want to run out and buy one of these now, don't you? I know. All over my coat and my We are going to be covered in glitter. A few moments later. All right, I think I'm gonna grab one more of these because I might hang one on my china cabinet and if I don't find a place for it, I can always return it, right? Because right. if I come back, they might be gone. Right, yeah, especially the silver. They also have some adorable wreaths right here. Oh my goodness, look at the snowman. Oh, that's sick. I also really like the owl one. And then what's this one, a fox? I don't know, but the snowman one is definitely <laughs> my favorite. Oh, look at all of these guys here. Here are some more of the deer with the glitter antlers. They have some dogs. They have a moose made out of a pine cone. Oh my gosh, that one is so cute. I'm sorry if I say cute a million times, but I think all of this stuff is just super cute and adorable. They also have a little squirrel. Look at the little squirrel. Aww. I love squirrels. Okay, I think I may have just found my favorite, you guys. Look at this one. Aww, the moose. moose. How much is the moose? Let's see. He is 20, so they have this smaller <laughs> one right here and then they also have a bigger moose down here so the smaller one is 20 let's see how much the bigger one is the bigger moose is 30. i am in love with the moose you guys also look what my mom just found and these are on sale for 3.99 i love that are you gonna get one yeah i think so you want one oh I don't need any more dish towels, you guys, but I think I am going to get this. Look, it matches my pillow. It matches my pillow, you guys. This is just, it's meant to be. You see this? Meant to be. And then black and white are you done. All right, I think we are about to get out of here. I am so excited about this pillow and this garland. Like I said, I am so excited to start decorating for Christmas, but we just have a few things to finish up around the house. Hopefully we're going to finish painting today and then I will be able to start putting up my Christmas decorations this weekend. Hi guys, we are finally getting ready to start decorating for Christmas and I am so excited. We just went into the attic and got a bunch of our Christmas decorations out. So if I sound really tired and out of breath, that's why. It is definitely a job getting all of the decorations out of the attic, isn't it? It sure is. And then lugging them in. pretty heavy. Especially that big tree right there. We both carry that and oh my gosh, you guys. I was like, oh, oh. I'm still exhausted from getting all of this stuff down. So today we are finally going to be decorating. I did wanna get up my Christmas decorations earlier, but we decided at the last minute that we wanted to paint our living room, dining room, and kitchen. So we decided to do that before we put up our Christmas decor because we didn't wanna be painting around everything, did we? No, that's hard work. Yes, it is a lot of work. Painting is so much work, you guys. And then I also just recently painted my desk last week because it was in desperate need of a paint job and I am so happy with the way the desk came out. It honestly just looks like a brand new desk. Yeah, come on good. So I think we are going to start out by putting up our Christmas tree first. It is the one with the big O on it. Our tree is from Hobby Lobby. This is the same one that we've had, I think, for at least three or four years, I wanna say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And it's been a really nice tree. It's definitely held up well. When we bought it, it was on sale for half price, so it was 150, and it is the Slim Yuletide Pine Tree, and it is a nine-foot tree, so it's pretty good size. Yeah, it is. We also bought a couple of trees last year on clearance at Target for 80% off, and I had completely forgotten about them, so I was so excited when I went into the attic and found them. That is the nice thing about buying stuff on clearance. Sometimes you forget that you even have it. Yeah, the next year you're all surprised. You get right, it and I'm always all happy, aren't I? Uh -huh. So this is the first one right here. This tree is so adorable, you guys. I love this one so much. And then also the little white birch one over there, and that one lights up, it is clear red and green and then the clear lights flash on it. It looks super cute when it's lit up. Yeah, it does. I also put up a tree in my office, but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that one in there. I bought that one also on clearance last year at Home Depot. I think it was around 30 or 40. It is a really nice tree and that was a really good price, but I actually bought it to go in my makeup room, but I just decided to try it in my office. But I don't know if I love it in there or not because I was looking at pictures from last year when I had that tree, the 
the flocked one in there and I just, I don't know, I really like the way the flocked one looked. This is the tree that I had in my office last year. I don't know, I'm just having a hard time making a decision because I do really love this tree. This one is a little bit shorter. This one is a six and a half foot tree. And I think, what is the one that's in there now? Seven and a half foot? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. I don't know if it just maybe looks too white. So maybe I should go with the green flocked one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which you guys think looks better. All right guys, I think I am going to go so we can start setting up our tree. I am so excited to get our tree up. Are you excited? Heck yeah. Woo! <laughs> You're so funny. He is definitely excited. We love putting up our Christmas tree. Oh, I just realized on the tree too, it says 2012. So we've had this tree for six years. Ooh, man, time flies. We've had this tree for a long time. I just realized that right by the O. It says yeah. 2012. So we've actually had this one for quite a long time. Anyways, so I think we are going to go and I think we're going to watch one of these Christmas movies. These are two of our favorite Christmas movies and usually we always watch a Christmas movie while we're decorating. Which movie do you want to watch first? Christmas with the Cranks or Jingle All the Way? Jingle All the Way. I knew he was going to say that. This is one of our all-time favorite Christmas movies ever. If you haven't ever watched this one, we both definitely recommend it because it is hilarious. All right, guys, time to put up the tree in three, two, one. Go. All right, we got our pot set up. I think last year I showed you guys we stuck our tree in this really cool pot here. We found this at the tractor and farm supply store. All right, guys, we got the tree all opened up. And I think this year I am going to take some of that fake snow in the can. I'll show you guys this stuff right here and I think I am going to flock this tree this year and give it a little bit of a snowy look. I did that last year on my tree that I had in my makeup room and I just think it makes it look really nice. So I think I am going to have to get some more cans of this because I only have one can from last year. So basically what we do to get our tree in this pot is we just stuck the stand in here. I think last year you did have to cut the stand a little bit to fit in there. Didn't you? Yeah, cut the stand. Cut the tips off. Yep, he cut the tips off. But it does still stand up if we decided we didn't want it in this pot. So usually what we do is we just start with the bottom piece and then we'll fluff it all out and just do one section at a time. I find that that is just a lot easier than trying to do it all at once. We like to just work in sections. So there is section one, so now we will just kind of fluff this out and make it all nice, and then we will do the next one. All right guys, here is the current progress. We got the whole tree up, and I'm still shaping it a little bit, fluffing out the branches. Bill just ran up to Dollar General to grab some more cans of the snow. I asked him if he wanted to stay and fluff the tree, or if he wanted to go grab snow, so he decided to go grab the snow, which I don't blame him. So he is doing that. He was super nice to go get that for me, so I just have a little bit more fluffing, and I've only been working on this for maybe maybe 10 minutes, so that's not too bad. And then once he gets back, I will work on spraying the tree. Ta-da! We have the tree all nice and lit. How do you think it looks? Looking pretty good. Looking good, guys, looking good. So I think now I am going to take some of my fake snow and spray it all over the tree. Do you think it's gonna look good? Oh yeah, it needs a good flocking. Yes, it does. It'll look like a nice little light snow fell on the tree. And we're actually kind of excited because it is supposed to snow here pretty soon. It actually is snowing, but you can't see it. It's like a really light snow. Is it snowing? Yeah, but just barely. Oh my gosh, so perfect for decorating for Christmas and then we're gonna get snow. I love when it snows, you guys. All right, so now we are going to start Putting on this stuff right here. Like I said, Bill ran down to Dollar General. That was so sweet of you, so thank you for doing that. I had them all everywhere. Yeah, Dollar General is just like really close. There's one right down the road from our house, so he just ran there real quick. It was only $1.75 a can, so you can have a nice little snowy tree for $1.75. Well, in our case, we bought, what, three cans? Yeah. So under $6. So here we go. So basically, I just do really light coats like this, kind of like you're spray painting. Just keep the can moving and just do nice light coats. And you can always put more on, but you don't want to get it too thick unless you like that look. I just like to do a nice light flocking. And basically if this stuff gets on your walls or the floor, it's not a big deal because it'll just kind of dry into a dust or you can just kind of wipe it up. No big deal at all, right? Yep, just let it dry up and wipe it off. So you can see, it's just really easy. I actually might only have needed one can of this. Look at it. Yeah. That's okay. I have a bunch of wreaths I want to do as well. You think it's looking good? Yep. It's snowing in here. 
Madison's like, what is that? This is so easy, you guys, and for such a cheap price, it can really give your tree just a nice, different look. Like, we just wanted to change it up this year. And then if you ever want this off your tree, basically it just kind of turns to dust over time. I think we had flocked this maybe three years ago, and it just kind of fades off. Here is the finished tree all flocked. I think it looks so nice. I just love the look of a snowy tree. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's an easy way to change up the look of your Christmas tree because I think I told you guys, we wanted something a little bit different this year and we didn't want to have to buy a new tree. So it's just a nice way to kind of change it up a little bit. Yeah, makes it look a little different. Yes, it does. So now while we let this dry, we are going to work on putting up some garland that we have over here. I actually hung some of it up on my china cabinet, but I don't know if I'm keeping it on there or not. I'm not sure if I'm loving it. But we are going to take some of this garland that I picked up from Joann's. This stuff is so sparkly and pretty. I love this. We are going to hang some of this up around our living room window. So once we get done with this, I will show you guys what it looks like. Here is what the garland looks like hanging around the window. Bill hung it up and I think he did such a good job. What do you guys think? I am in love with it. I think this garland looks really nice and it has a nice realistic look to it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Cause some of them look really fake and I just wanted something that looked a little bit more real. And then we just used some of the battery operated string lights. We hung those up, just picked these up at Walmart. And then we also stuck that tree that we got on clearance from Target right over there next to the couch. And I think it looks really good right there. Yep. So we still have a ton more decorating to do, but I have a terrible headache and we're both really tired because we've been doing a bunch of other work today. So I think we are going to end the decorating for tonight and pick back up tomorrow. So. Sounds good. Get a snack and take it easy for a little bit. Yep, finish watching this movie and then we're probably gonna watch Christmas with the Cranks yep. and I'm gonna make myself a cup of sugar cookie sleigh ride tea. That sounds so good. And just take it easy for the night. So we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, good morning. It is now the next day. We did end up getting some snow last night. I woke up and it looked so pretty outside. You probably, maybe you can see outside a little bit, but I think we ended up getting around three to five inches. So I was actually really excited because I love when it snows. So getting ready to do a little bit more decorating. I actually think we might run to Home Depot really quick because I saw some trees on their website that I want to get either to put on our deck or maybe even next to this door right here. I'm not sure. And they're on sale right now for $23. So I think we might quickly run over to Home Depot and pick some of those up. Look at all of this glitter right here on the table. Can you guys see that? Last night we ended up hanging up this garland on the light and there is so much glitter and snow all over the table. I actually ended up going back and buying quite a few more of these garlands. If you guys remember earlier in the video I showed I was buying one of these and then they were having a sale and they were only $9. So I actually ended up going back and grabbing quite a few more. So I think now we are going to venture out to Home Depot. This is what it looks like outside right now. It is so pretty, you guys. All of the snow is in the trees. It just makes it feel so magical and just feels like Christmas to me when it is all snowy like this. Here we are at Home Depot. Every single time, you guys, we come to Home Depot, what do we think of? I do not want to work at Home Depot. Yes, the movie Rat Race. <laughs> I can't think of the guy's name that says it, but he gets all mad and he says, I do John not, Roberts? yeah, it is. And he says, I do not want to work at Home Depot. It's so funny. That movie is so funny. And I look like a hot mess because I've been doing housework and I shoveled the entire driveway. So Bill is going to be so sweet and just run in and grab the trees. Bill just ran in to get the trees. Like I said, I just look like a hot mess. So I just decided to wait in the car. And I did finally switch over to one of my new purses that I got for my birthday. I seriously love this purse so much. I think I told you guys I had literally wanted this purse for about two years. And then I also stuck this really cute Ray Dunn bag that my mom got me in here. It says things and I just stuck a few makeup things in here. I seriously love this bag so much. And then I just have a bunch of other stuff in here. But I finally switched over to my new purse, you guys. It took me long enough, I know. 
All right guys, Bill got my trees. This is what they look like. I'll show you guys when we get home. Cute little boxes. Uh-huh, it'll take long, did it? No, it was really fast. Hi guys, we just got back from Home Depot and I am about to take my trees out of the box and see how they look. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick these outside on our deck or I may even stick them over here next to the patio door. Not really sure yet, so we are going to see. And by the way, I still have my iMac sitting out here because I think I told you guys I had painted my desk and I was just letting the paint dry really good, so I need to move this back into my office. Also, you guys, look what I found. I finally found some of the Ray Dunn Christmas dog bowls. I am so excited. So so I got the smaller ones for food, and then this bigger one is going to be for water. I am honestly so excited that I finally found some of these, and I think I had showed you guys earlier that I also found a couple for my sister. So we finally found them, guys. So super excited for that. And now, like I said, I think I am going to take these babies out of the box and figure out where I want to put them. And in case you guys are wondering, these are the ones that I ended up getting. They are the four foot Douglas potted pre-lit tree. And these were normally 30 and they were on sale for 23. This is so funny, you guys. I just took one of these trees out of the box and I was sitting here thinking, why is this tree so short? And then I realized that I have to stick the top on it. So funny, I was like, these are way shorter than what I measured that they were. And here are the trees next to the door. I think these look so good. I think we are definitely keeping them in the house. I asked Bill what he thought, if he thought they looked good in here or if we should put them outside. And he thinks they look really good. I do. So this is what they look like. Oh, and then we also hung, really quickly, we just hung up some more of that same garland from Joanne's up above the door. And I think that looks really good too. So it's kind of hard to see because the table is right here, but we have one tree over here and one tree over here. I definitely love the trees in here. Oh, and I didn't show you guys. Look how cute the little pots look. And don't mind the floor. I just vacuumed earlier, but when we hung up that garland, it got glitter and then like a little bit of fake snow everywhere. So don't mind that. So this is what the pots look like that the trees are in. I think these look so cute. Yeah, they look pretty nice next to the door. You love them? I love them. The next day. You guys, look at all of this stuff. My mom and I are out Christmas shopping and also Christmas decor shopping. We are finding a ton of good deals, aren't we? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'll have to do a little haul when I get home because we are finding so much good stuff today. Hi guys, it is now the next day. My mom and I went and did some Christmas shopping yesterday. I bought a bunch of Christmas gifts. I am so excited. I absolutely love Christmas shopping and buying gifts for my friends and my family. And I also picked up some new Christmas decor. I'm getting ready to do some more decorating. As you can see, my tree over there is still naked. I think we might decorate that later tonight. I'm also getting ready to put my little wreaths right there on the bar stools. I wasn't sure if I was going to put wreaths on the bar stools this year because last Last year, if you guys remember, I had my taller bar stools from Pier 1, and I didn't know if wreaths would look right on the shorter ones, but Bill and I held them up, and we both thought they looked really good, so we are going to try to hang them up on there, and we will see how that goes. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm finished. So like I said, my mom and I went and did a bunch of Christmas shopping. We got some really good deals yesterday. I could not believe some of the stuff that we found on sale. I was super excited. I'm thinking about filming a haul video soon. I have a bunch of the stuff just sitting here. And you guys, look how cute this pink little laundry container is. I am in love with this. And I don't know if it's coming off pink on camera or not, but it is a really pretty baby pink. I also picked up a new wallflower plug from Bath and Body Works and I ended up getting a new scent. I think it is Winter Woods. And oh my gosh, you guys, this one smells so good. I think I might end up going back and grabbing a couple more because I just love the way it smells. And then I also found some of this plaid wrapping paper right here. I found this at the Dollar Tree. I picked up some of these gift bags. I like putting some of my gifts in these. These are just really nice heavy duty bags instead of just using the little cheap ones and then people can also reuse these. So I think now I am going to attempt to hang my wreaths on the bar stools. I'm really hoping that these are going to look good because I absolutely love these little wreaths and I definitely need to find a place for them if they don't work out on the bar stools. I just love these so much. I bought these last year at Joann's. 
And then I think I'm also going to fill up some of my glass cookie jars that I have over there. They're the same ones that I filled up for Halloween. I want to find some cute stuff. I think I'm going to put candy canes in one, maybe marshmallows or the little donuts again, and probably some gingerbread cookies. I think they will look really cute in there. And by the way, I am just loving my trees over there next to the door. I think they look so nice. All right guys, I think I'm going to attempt to hang the wreaths on the bar stools. I think I'm going to try to use some of the sisal or sisal, however you say it, to hang the wreaths on the bar stools. All right guys, I have one of the wreaths hung up on the bar stool and I think that I am loving it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and hang the other two. All I did was wrap some of that stuff, that sisal or sisal around the wreath and then around each of the legs of the bar stool. I'll show you guys in just a second. But I think I really like the way the wreath looks on there. Okay, so the easy the easiest way to do this when you're doing it by yourself is to just turn the bar stool on its side like this and then I just cut a couple pieces of the sisal and then I am just going to stick my wreath right where I think that I want it. And then all I'm going to do is wrap this. I stick it kind of in between the wreath right here and around the back of the bar stool and then tie it in a knot. And it is just that simple. All right guys, I got all of the wreaths hung up on the bar stools. I am so proud that I was able to do it on my own. It was not easy. But like I said, I just turned, at first I was trying to do it with the bar stools facing upright and it was a complete nightmare. And then I thought, oh, it'll be a lot easier if I turn them on their side. That way they're not moving around. And that was way easier. So that is how they look. I think they look Looks so cute on there. Here is another view of the bar stools and there's probably glitter and stuff all over the floor because I feel like all of my Christmas decorations that I have puts glitter out pretty much everywhere. Next, I think I am going to work on filling up some of my cookie jars. So I have some of these really cute little iced gingerbread cookies. So I am going to stick them in there. I actually have another bag somewhere as well. And then I have a bunch of candy canes I am going to put in another one. So I think that is what I am going to do next. Here are the finished cookie jars. So I ended up doing one with candy canes, one with these little donuts, which I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the donuts in here. I just had some of these donuts, so I thought I would use them. And then the cute little gingerbread cookies. I love these so much. And then on the tops of the cookie jars, I just stuck some of these little pine cone ornaments. So that is how they look. And then over here, I also stuck my new wallflower plug. I seriously love this winter wood scent so much, you guys, and I am definitely going to go back and grab a couple more while they still have them. All right guys, quick update. This is how everything is currently looking. I am so in love with how everything looks right now. Oh, by the way, we did decorate our tree for the most part anyways. We still have a few things to do. We still have to add our star on top. This year, we just decided to keep our tree simple, so we just went with red and silver, so I did. Red satin bulbs. My mom always puts satin bulbs on her tree and they always look so gorgeous. And then I stuck some silver sparkly bulbs, some little red bows, and some pine cones, and I just think it looks super pretty. I added a bunch of these scented cinnamon pine cones to my tree and all I did for these is give them a light spray of that fake snow just so they kind of blend in. It looks like they just have some fresh snow that fell on them. I always like adding the pine cones to the tree. I just think they give it a nice natural look and they also smell amazing. Also, I did change out that garland on the china cabinet. If you guys remember, I had the garland like that one on the china cabinet. Well, I ended up finding a smaller one in my Christmas decorations from last year. This is the one that I ended up going with right here. And then again, I just added some of the little battery operated string lights. And it also came with these cute little red bells on it. I think I bought this last year at Joann's. I just kind of like the look of this one. This one is just a little bit smaller. I just thought it looked better on the china cabinet. 
This is how the kitchen is currently looking. I did add this really pretty garland right here around my window and then I added some more of the little string lights. I'm still deciding if I'm going to add garland above my cabinets this year. I'm thinking I might not just because I have it around the windows and I don't want it to look super cluttered. I just, I don't know, this year I just kind of want it to be a little bit more simple. So I think I might leave it just like this. I still really love my little wreaths on the bar stools. So I think I'm basically done decorating in the kitchen. I also added this little tree right here on the island. This is from Target. And then I also added that wreath over there on the door. Here is a close up of the wreath. I just love the nice natural look that it has. And then this year I also bought some just plain black wreath hangers from Hobby Lobby. I think these were on sale for $1.50. They were normally three, but I bought them when they were half price. And I just really like the way the black hanger looks. I do still kind of have to work on this area over here, my hot cocoa station. I'll probably do a little something more with this. It's just kind of plain right now. I did decorate my tiered stand right here. So I added my cute little Santa cup. This is just a little mini cup. I bought this last year at Target, as well as these plaid mugs. I found these last year in the dollar spot at Target. My little hot chocolate sign. I bought this off from Etsy. And then I just added a couple of these bottle brush trees. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I still have lots more Christmas decorating to do, so if you guys would like to see more of my Christmas decor throughout my house, give this video a thumbs up, and I will definitely film more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.